Okay, so a quick rundown for those who are unaware. There is some drama going on between like skill specs and the RuneScape community against Odoblock because of um, Odoblock boosting the Bounty Hunter content. But I want to watch what goes on in the RuneScape Chronicles first so that we have as much context as possible. We'll have a look at um, skill specs post here, which I think is going to be shown in the video anyway. Um, but if anyone can find the original tweet from skill specs, can you let me know? Unless it is... Um, this tweet here specifically, I'm not too sure if someone can let me know, that'd be great. But otherwise we'll watch the video and we'll just see what's said and give our hot takes. Today I was going to cover the bounty hunter boosting problem and sure enough, Odoblock and skill enough? specs have gone head to head on that very topic. I saw skill specs make a Twitter post and I'm assuming it was about me because he was too scared to say my name. But let me just say this to you, Skilly. I like to provide content, understand? I like to provide you uniqueness to my stream. You understand? Uniqueness to my stream. You just sit there, deathmatch, and die everywhere in the same old, same old. You understand? He Which, to be fair, you. is fun content to watch in, in Skill Specs Defense. Twitter post talk about <clears throat> wow, people are making it very boring buying some kills here. I want to sit here and provide real content with the new weapons and the new armors. You got me f***ed up if you think I'm going to dedicate time and killing s*** all day. Understand? So Bounty Hunter boosting is okay. when a player manipulates the way that points are earned in the minigame and simply pays for kills or uses alt accounts to get free points. In fact, World 567 is overrun with boosters. People selling easy emblem upgrades. Boosting is completely broken. Here's a screenshot showing what a player bought after allegedly just two hours of boosting. How, how many how many points is that? Like, for someone who's not boosting, how long would it take for you to get that much? I, I don't really know. I, I didn't dabble too much in peak in a bounty hunter because Venge PK gives me brain cancer. Are they complaining about boosting on tradables like they don't all boost to advertise BA clans every time they make a new account? I don't know. That's why I'm trying to just figure out now what's happening here. So I just want to know like what's like what sort of time would you have to invest to get this sort of gear? I don't know. Showing what a player bought after allegedly just two hours of boosting. If you like go to BH right now, it's mostly just boosters. Like mm -hmm. LTB one mil, LTB one mil. It's actually just insane. I like one mil for a boost. Majority, like, if I got that correct, so okay. Bro, and a boost is one kill, regardless of the emblem? Or is that for the whole set? Because if it's one mil for that, that's insanely cheap. I should do that. I can't even take care of the I think that BH boosting meta is out of control. It is, bro. BH is mm -hmm. definitely broken. Top spots buying boosts, and my goodness, bro. It shouldn't be viable. It should be obtainable through pure skills only. Boosting was the reason that Bounty Hunter got removed in the first place. Oh, well. <laughs> Here we go, boys. What are we... One week in the bounty hunter, if that the reason it was removed is because of boosting. And <laughs> it's back. Everyone wants bounty hunter back, but no one wants to uh, do the fucking content properly, do they? What a fucking surprise! Welcome to RuneScape. Its removal was perhaps the biggest detriment to PvP in the last decade. So the fact that people are doing this now is a bad sign. And there's nothing like yeah, it's other. a bad sign, but it's no surprise. Why? Why are we surprised that people are boosting? You, like, are, are we just ignoring the rest of the game? Like you said, yeah, like Barbarian Assault, like who doesn't, like, like who's not advertising boost services? I don't really think I boost much anyway. I mean, to be fair, I will, I will use you guys as, as literal slaves to run the Blast Furnace for me, which saves me 60k an hour on my own, man. You can say that's boosting. Why not? The Zonwin kits are about 50 BH points each. Each. Damn, in two hours, that's insane. You can get paid one mil to die bounty hunter even though you are shit and most likely die a lot. Yeah, that's easy money, dude. A bit of combat achievement task boosting. Good call. All right, let's keep watching. It's okay. Fresh drama to wake you up in the morning. Awesome. But let's all remember to keep things civil in the comments section. I uh, see this is the same way as PVM pet boosting. People love to pay uh, to get their goals faster. And at this point, I just see it as part of the game, even though I wish it wasn't. Can't really get mad at Oda for this. Maybe I missed some context though. Um, yep. Yeah. Because yep. there are some very interesting... Best PK in the game doesn't need to boost to get sides. new armors? Okay. So let's go back to a few days ago. Alright, let's, let's go. Skillspex posted this tweet singing his praises. Okay, it was that tweet. Okay. But he also added a line at the bottom, saying he's disappointed in all the boosters cheating to get the best gear before everyone else. Yep. As you heard before, Odoblock thought Skillspex was directing <clears> that tweet or that little line 
to him. But Skillspec says that he didn't even know that Odoblock had been boosting. Odoblock. I don't think that tweet was directed at Odoblock. Looking at it, just like right now, I, I would read that as a viewer and a content creator. I believe I remember actually seeing that tweet, so I didn't realize this is the tweet they're talking about. Because I didn't know that was at Odoblock at all. I'm not balls deep in the in the PvP and Twitch community though. But I think I would happily say then yet yeah, because oh, skill specs is not directing this at Odoblock. It does not like it at all. Pointed in all the boosters cheating to get the best gear before everyone else. Now, as you heard before, Odoblock thought skill specs was directing that yep. tweet or that little line. I think it's fair to assume that for Odoblock at the same time. He didn't even know that Odoblock had been boosting. Odoblock obeys the implicit contract of YouTube, provide entertainment. And he's been doing that very well with his videos lately. But he's been able to put out so many videos in part because of the boosting that he's been mm -hmm. doing. The engineer okay. chimes in and asks, surely the best PK in the game doesn't need to boost to get the new armors. In my opinion, if you account for all styles of PKing, Odoblock just might be the best PKer in RuneScape. Okay, let's, let's, okay. Yes, I agree. But what is the difference between Odoblock boosting to get the best armor to be able to make videos as soon as possible and content creators having so much money either given to them or on their accounts ready to buy the void waker as soon as it comes out to get the void waker immediately for the highest price possible to get the shadow the termican shadow as soon as uh toa came out so that they can do what make the content and get the best views that the most amount of views and retention on youtube possible as soon as the content is dropped so, as soon as it's dropped that's literally that that's how content creation works so while these guys might have a problem with Odoblock boosting. Um, Odoblock is a content creator first and a RuneScape player second. And that's how it works. It's that simple. Why do you think I'm covering this drama? Content creator first, 100%. So while I think Skill Specs is totally within his right to have a problem, like, the entire game is totally within their right to have a problem with boosting services. I don't like boosting services at all. But I'm not going to blame Odoblock for doing it at all for views. Fuck, absolutely, get, absolutely fucking not. Like, my man, get the, get those fucking views. Th these guys should be doing it too. Fucking milk the cunt, dude. That's the, that's how you do it, man. That's how you get the views. Milk it, show off the gear. For sure. Whether Odoblock boosts or not, it's not going to stop or, or make boosting services any worse. There are people like, what, you think Rot's just going to sit there twiddling their thumbs waiting for Odoblock to come up with a boosting strategy? No, they were doing it way before he started it. For sure. They planned boosting weeks before it came out best PKer in the game doesn't need to boost to get the new armors. In my opinion, if you account for all styles of PKing, Odoblock just might be the best PKer in RuneScape. But does that make it even worse? Nope. It sets a bad precedent for the rest of the no, community. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I don't think it has anything to do with the rest of the community because he might be the, a big figure that's boosting. Who isn't boosting? Like you, you, could, you go to Bounty Hunter, you see the boosting service. How is this Odoblock's fault? He sees an opportunity, he goes, content. I don't think this has, this is his fault at all. He's just simply taking advantage of the situation that's there. If anything, it's Jagex's fault. Jagex has made it easy to boost, easily accessible. So if you have a problem with anyone, you should have a problem with the system that Jagex has put into the game. Specs didn't kill any booster during his stream and he wants to keep the BH integrity. Well... I'm sorry, but that, that well, that's up to skill specs and how he does BH, but the BH integrity was out the window the last time it was removed. It came back, what do you expect? Like, skill specs can keep the integrity on his end when he plays it, but the integrity in Bounty Hunter left the second it started. When I went to Bounty Hunter, people are already, like, running away from fights when they're losing. To me, that's as boring as fuck. I think that's coward shit, so I just lost interest in Bounty Hunter inst instantly. No, I don't think specs is some doggy shit at all. No, I, this is, I, I don't think skill specs is wrong to have a problem with with the boosting at all. I think he's I think they're both right. Both content creators are right. Skill specs is right to have a problem with boosting. I agree. It's fucked. Odoblock is doing the right thing by taking advantage of it to make content and capitalize on the situation. Who's wrong is Jagex. Because they they've just they bought boosting bounty hunters straight back into the game immediately. So everyone's problem with bounty hunter is the problem that we had fucking five years ago. When such a monstrous player killer and leader in the community 
even himself resorts to cheating in the new PvP. I don't think it's cheating. I don't think it's cheating. Is it cheating to pay for your fighter torso? Is it cheating to be an Iron Man and have Max Mains carry you through Todd because you don't have anyone to fucking raid with and you have to pay them for it? Is it cheating to get to to pay someone to help you get your Zuck helmet task done in in teams? It's cheating, but it's accepted. I don't think it's cheating. Absolutely not. I think it's it, it's just a boosted service. I think it's cringe. I don't think it's cheating. It's not against the rules. Just how it is. The system's in place. They're going to do it. It's not breaking any rules by doing this. Jagex issue was boosting, uh, was that boosting legacy BH was profitable in GP, leading to real trade. Boosting in the new BH gives you untradable items. Well, this guy just made one mil for it. He just made one mil GP standing still. What's he going to do with that once he does it? What? How many times do you reckon that SM Tranter dies a day for one mil? How, how, many, how much money do you think he makes a day? If he dies a hundred times a day, it's a hundred mil. That 100 mil is tradable. Absolutely. No different to Fortnite. Creditors just using V-Bucks to buy the battle pass uh, to the day it drops. They get in the content first in uh, order to make the business. Kind of. Battle passes are regulated by, by Epic Games and Cells. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's cheating at all. I, I think... Oh, could it be cheating? In, in, in a way, you are, I guess, kind of manipulating the high scores. So I guess there, there is an argument for it to be cheating at the end of the day, if I think about it more. I don't, th I don't think it's cheating in terms of... I think it is no more or no less cheating than people buying their, their fighter torso. If you have gone to Bounty Hunter and paid someone for a fighter torso, if you've gone to Tob and paid someone for, for, to teach you Tob, you are in the same boat. Absolutely. You are no different. It doesn't make a difference at all. He'd drop them anyways and he uh, they don't want to risk the money so they give him the kill nothing wrong with it. I don't think so, no. Yeah. Let me start digging and find this man's skill specs boosting. Or no. he, skill specs won't be boosting. He won't. He's not standing around with a D, Dinny B and saying he won't fight and only get free kills. Exactly. Is throwing a boxing uh, fight cheating? I... What, like an IRL boxing fight? I don't know, is it? Irons used to boost top for stamps and bruise before it was changed that made it harder. Yeah. It's boosting. <clears throat> in Legacy, it was new GP generated from the Emblem Trader. The new, uh, in New Legacy, it's uh, coming from actual players. There's a thin line. Yeah, but I think people are still going to make money and people trade it off. Absolutely. So I, I, I don't think it's necessarily the problem or the point. Pathetic people can't play the game normal without boosting. It's been 10 years, dude. How many Inferno Capes have been paid for? That's different. I think Inferno Capes... Is, uh, is it different? I guess it depends if you pay with real money or with GP at the end of the day. It, I guess it depends on the, on the integrity of the content. Right? Would you put, would you put paying to get a, your fighter torso on the same level as someone paying for their Inferno Cape? Would you? Pretty sure throwing a match in any sport is just frowned upon. It's against the uh, it's against the rules. Okay, there you go. Is it because it is because Jagex says it is. They don't have a problem with um, fighter torso services, but they have a problem with Inferno Cape services because Inferno Cape services are of a higher caliber of recognition. Right, it's an actual achievement. Okay, so you you reckon it's the same. So you reckon someone who buys Inferno Cape is in the same boat as someone who buys a fighter torso. Why pay for Inferno Cape when the, the fun is learning it? Because being a one defense pure with an Inferno Cape is also fun. 100%, do you think they're the same person? If you're buying Inferno Cape, you're almost always, uh, almost always using real money, it's true. Logging on someone's account or using Parsec as cheating, boosting services allowed, not cheating, just cringe. I think that's probably a fair way to put it, yeah. If, if you're paying for an Inferno Cape, you're not even playing the game, but if you're paying for this, you're still playing. The Inferno Cape, they have to log into your account, yeah, that's, that's a fair point, yeah. I think Inferno Cape is, is leagues, leagues beyond this, for sure. 
but I, I think this is this is not cheating. I don't I, I don't think this is I don't think this is on the level of cheating that's bannable like an inferno cape. It, it's on the level of cheating like you would be you would pay for someone to carry you through Tob for your for your Zuck helmets for your your speed run times for your fighter torsos and so on. Absolutely, people might frown on it. Absolutely, but at the end of the day, you're not going to get banned for it. And it is Jagex's fault that this is something that can be done. This is paying for an advantage in PvP? Well, actually, it's Odobot paying for an advantage in content. That should be bannable too. This game is about achievements. Pay to win, pog you. No, I don't think that should be bannable at all. It's just the, the way the system is. Any game is going to have that stuff. You think you go play World of Warcraft? You think people don't charge money to carry through end game raids? Absolutely not. The mini game. Listen, we hit our rank one. Now we got to maintain the rank one. I'm down to fight anybody. <clears throat> if anybody wants to fight me, I'm down as long as you're my target. But if you don't want to fight me, I'm down to purchase the kill for one reason and one reason only. And the name of f***ing content. You know why? Absolutely. My man. Absolutely. I, I think, and I genuinely believe that he's, he's not paying to be rank one. He's paying for content, right? I think if you're if you're boosting just to maintain a rank one spot, that's it's worse. But how are you going to distinguish the difference at the end of the day unless someone just openly admits to it? Jagger says no uh, has to have systems in place to avoid this kind of stuff. It's hard to do, man. People will always find a way to boost. Always, you're never going to beat this. They will literally trade at the grand exchange, have a middleman like a DM server, and then go to bounty hunter and kill each other. That's just what will happen. He isn't playing plan B anymore, definitely just for content. Of course. That's the point. He's a content creator. Why does anyone care? Does Skill want to be number one? No, uh, Skill Specs wants the, the integrity and doesn't like seeing the, the way that Bounty Hunter is being um, used and people are, are paying for boost to be able to get the gear and get higher level arm, um, what are they called? Emblems. But what are you going to do about it? How are you going to stop that? Why out of block? Because I'm rushing that gear and rushing those weapons in order to make content for you guys and YouTube. Okay? Yep. I have to be the first to have those weapons and armor. Exactly. Has and everyone does that. Everybody does that. I don't think it's any different to paying excessive amounts of money to get the first Void Waker to make a video on the Void Waker as soon as it came out or the Termican Shadow. I don't think it's any different. They just have the money already backed up. They're paying excessive amounts. They go buy it. They're not farming it themselves. They're not going to get their first shadow and then going out to uh, test it out. You think you think Solar Mission pulled that first shadow as soon as it came out and made that video on it? Absolutely not. He bought it, made the video, he sold it because he got it for the content. Absolutely. At a point, you are putting content codes by normal people who play the game. Me or, or Jagex's? I won't pay for services like Top Carries or Fighter Torso, but that's because it's my personal choice. Exactly, I'm the same. Yeah, I would never pay someone for that shit, but I know people do. And a lot of people that do that are probably having a problem with this situation. But I don't think paying for a fucking service in-game that is not bannable, where you still control your account, is, is no different to this shit. Normal people can also buy everything else in the game, like the just like streamers. Yes, I guess so. But the point that Oilblock is doing this for us for content. It's for content. That's the point, Trap Daddy. That's the game. It's different. Shadow's meant to be bought in the GE. But why is he buying the Shadow? The same reason that Oilblock is buying the kills. To get the content out. To get the videos out. To get the views. Because who are you going to watch? If you go to YouTube, <clears throat> day two, you go to YouTube. Bounty Hunter, who's using all the gear? One person, Erdblock. Why? Because he bought the boosts. It wasn't bannable. He took advantage of it. Everyone else was trying to do it legitimately. While Erdblock's just racking up the views, racking up the subs, racking up that watch time, racking up the ad revenue. Who's the real winner? Who are you going to blame? Are you going to tell me that if you had the opportunity to make that extra money, get those extra views earlier than everyone else, you're going to be like, nah, the integrity. Fuck that. Get the fucking gear, make the video, upload it. You're here for yourself. You're not here to burn bridges. No one is going to build your YouTube career other than yourself. Odeblock isn't relying on anyone else to get him views but himself. And that's what he's doing. 
relying on boosters, I guess, or the boost services. But you see my point. He's not relying on other content creators to be like, integrity. No, he's fucking making the views, getting it going. Again, I want to make it clear that I don't think skill specs is wrong at the same time for having a problem with boosting. That's totally fine. I don't think his original tweet was directed at Odoblock. It doesn't look like it was. I agree that boosting is shit and against the integrity of the game, not the integrity of Bounty Hunter. In, in general, boosting is just like, it's such a narrow-minded, shitty way to play the game, but shit, it's been in the game for years and what, it's a problem now because Bounty Hunter came back with, guess what, the same fucking boosting problem? Nah. Did you know the video brought more boosters to Bounty Hunter? The world is more populated now? Well, shit. What do you want to do? Do you want to take advantage of the situation or do you want to fight real people? That's up to you, man. Everyone found on Call of Duty players when they were bo when they boosted? I have no idea what that has to do with RuneScape, dude. He was even using a boosting service, was he? I, I believe he was, yes. Just offering to pay anyone who didn't want to fight them legitimately so he didn't have uh, as many people that uh, not wanting to fight him. I think... He wasn't directly looking for boosters, but he was like, if you don't want to fight, I'll pay you for your death. Totally fine. Couldn't come to stream. Um, now, are you going to make a video on the topics? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll clip this out for a video after, of course. You know why? I'm going to clip all this out into a video after, because it's going to get me views. Because it's going to get me subs. And it's going to draw in that watch time. Content. I'm boosting off of Odoblox and Skill Specs drama, except I'm not paying for it. Last time BH was a moneymaker, now it's the only reward on tradables. No, you are wrong. It is still a moneymaker. You're saying only rewards are on tradables? The people that are boosting, the, the people that are offering the boost services are getting one mil for kills. So they're not directly making money through, bounty, through the bounty hunter mechanics, but if you sell 100 deaths a day, you are getting 100 mil. You are making money. You're goddamn right they're going to sell that gold off. Are you kidding? You, you can have nine accounts up. Um, I can have nine accounts up on my screen. Selling services. They all need to die 10 times each. I've made 90 mil. Am I going to hit BH after this discussion? No. I don't like Bounty Hunter. I, I don't like the no overhead prayers, no mage thing, because it's just whoever has Void Waker wins. And I don't have Void Waker. It's just part of this is the integrity of the high scores. That's that's on Jagex to sort out. That's literally on Jagex to sort out. Skillspace later admitted he knew he was uh, what he was doing, then making that when making that tweet and he knew that Oda would react uh, the way he did. Can you find me uh, the clip of that, please? If you can find me that clip, Danny, that'd be great. But if I, if I can't see that clip, then I don't believe you. Because to me, that's propaganda. Your input on this Oda blog situation is perfect. My input on many things is perfect. Yet yeah, people are always surprised. Yeah, Danny, just DM it to me on Discord. We, I'd love to see that tweet. Because that would change the title of my opinion a little bit. <laughs> if you're worried about the high scores, then let's talk about Corp. No, if you're worried about the high scores... Um, Let's worry about the video that I have uploaded, ready to come out soon. That's that's an interesting video that's coming out very soon. I'm thinking tonight. I have a tip. Uh, you can release to combat wieldy boss bots, wooden agent staff of Void Waker, and they were instant telly. No, Scrubber Steve. Enter the dungeon, and they will instant telly. Telly, sorry. It doesn't matter if it's agent staff of Void Waker. If you're in their attack range, they will leave. The input on your mum is perfect, Kappa. Mum's dead. Uh, would you solve Bounty Hunter... Boosting if they only had three or four dedicated bounty hunter servers, or do I not have a clue about the way they're boosting? It doesn't matter about the servers, to be honest. I don't know how you're going to beat boosting in bounty hunter. I haven't thought about it, but it's not something you can really just beat like that. How long are you on for, bro? Uh, as long as you want me. To have the newest KQ guide, King? I put a new KQ guide? When the hell did that come out? Thank you, Hermes. I appreciate it, but I think that, that, that sounds like a year old. I don't know when that came out. Spoken up, saying to skill specs, W take. Now everyone thinks boosting is acceptable. Oh, it no, sorry. I just only realized what's been said here. Not everyone, everyone thinks boosting is acceptable. This isn't the first time boosting has come to RuneScape. This is a dumb fucking opinion. It ruins the integrity of the game. Odoblock has had a history of what? prioritizing. It, hold on. It ruins the integrity of the game slash minigame. It also takes away from those who actually have been grinding for the gear, their place in the high scores, and most importantly, their PKs. Yeah, man, I, I hate logging into my main, looking at my fighter torso, knowing I got that legitimately, and then being sad that everyone else has their fighter torso. And I think a couple of idiots out there are going to be like, it's different because it's PvP. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Okay? Boosting is... The boosting is acceptable. Now everyone thinks boosting is, is acceptable. It is acceptable. 
How many of these people complaining about this paid for services to get their torsos? Paid for services to get their... What's, what's it called? The, their fucking combat achievements. Their Zuck helmets. Ken Q's a hypocrite. He's just quoting. He's just reading what's on here. He's not, he's not taking this and going, I agree. He's not um, behemoth. Or whatever that dickhead's name is. Boosting is acceptable. And it's proven to be acceptable. Because people have been doing it for years. No one has been banned. And it's not really been a problem in the community like this until now. Because Bounty Hunter and oh, my precious peak hanging experience. You don't want to boost, you don't have to. That's the best part. If you don't want to boost, you don't have to. You do not have to. Odoblock is doing it for the content. But Odoblock is offering... To pay people that don't want to fight him for the content. That's how it looks. He's not going out looking for boosters. He's just stated, if you don't want to fight me, I'll give you a mil or I'll give you, I'll pay you for your death. And I don't think that is a problem at all. And I don't think Odobot doing that is making any difference negatively to the game or the integrity. Because it's happening regardless. It's already happening. And it's happening in many other mini games, not just here. How many people are, are, are going into LMS and intentionally looking for bots and hiding in the back corner to the end? I hate that shit. But how many people do it? It's accepted. Soul Wars. It ruins the Soul Wars is another example. Good call. Odoblock has had a history of prioritizing entertainment before all else. And that and is it... why he's the number one RuneScape streamer on Twitch. Right? Prioritize content before the game. Some people might not like that. That's fair. That's your own That's your own way that you want to take the, your content and the direction of your content. But if you prioritize content, you will always come out on top. Oh, he's on kick now, isn't he? Yeah, he moved to kick, didn't he? Well, of course he's going to be the number one streamer on kick. No other dickhead streams on that fucking platform, do they? Uh, Fighter Torso requires other people. Cape doesn't. Yes, that's why I don't think the Inferno Cape argument is valid. Because you also don't do the Inferno Cape when you pay for it. You, someone else literally does it for you. He's number one because I don't stream. All right, dude. I I do everything myself, but at the same time, uh, don't fault people for buying services. Uh, yeah, people, everyone buys services. Alfie's on Kick now too. Uh, oh yeah, I heard about that permanently. His fans Kick's a good platform. That, Shut up, but dude. But how far will that go? Jagex have had to lay down the law on stuff like community chucking. Okay. Um, I was doing. When was this? Twenty ninth of Jan. I was doing community chucks uh, without taking a fee. So what's a community chuck? Uh, just a few friends DMing together and I got banned for real trade and there's literally no way to get in contact with anyone or appeal. There is ways. Um, what's a community chuck? Is that where you're the middleman? Um, when it comes to DMing? Agree, kick is a good platform. Cope. When stream viewers pull GP together and streamer goes in for you all in a DM. So like if I got 10 mil off of every viewer... And then went and DM'd it and won. What would I do with the money then? You get viewers to give you money to DM and ask for a tip. Okay. And what do I do with the winnings? It means you're doing the DMing on someone else's behalf. Okay. You keep it for content. Shit. Sounds like he's in money for me. God damn. You pay out to viewers. Okay. You give it back. Pay everyone their split and ask for tips. Okay. Interesting. Is that real trading? I don't know. Add them and trade it back plus their winnings. Okay, interesting. Because of the negative effects it's had on the game. Bounty Hunter was removed for three years because of boosting, and we've seen the PKing community beg for PvP updates, well, for the last 10 years. Do we think Jagex will want to make more PvP updates if the top content creators are cheating? I don't think they're cheating, and yes. PvP updates have a positive impact on the game. It's been proven many times. In the new content. The most common chuggers were real traders. Jack that makes sense. to okay. remove this version of Bounty Hunter again if this kind of behavior spreads across the community. What do you think? Do you care more about entertainment or the integrity and health of the game we call RuneScape? Let me know your thoughts. I don't, okay, hold on. Let me finish. Comments below. Just... And reminder, um, keep civil, please. I don't think the integrity of the game is, or the health of the game is in danger because of Bounty Hunter. At the end of the day, you have a choice to boost or you have a choice to not boost. Um, I don't think, I don't, I don't really think it's going to be a problem. If Jagex removes Bounty Hunter because of this, then that's pussy shit. They should just find a fix for it instead. Did you um, 
Find that clip for me, dude. Who am I waiting on here? Da Davy is, is his name? What's your name? He had a clip for me uh, of, of Skill Specs apparently saying it was directed at Odeblock. Shane Tits, what's up, dude? That's why it's hard to get PvP content? I don't think so. I think the, the a, a good part as to why it's hard to get PvP content is because you got PvM content in the wilderness. People go out there PvMing. They don't want to get PK'd. And you've got PKs going out there that can't find good fights. And they're, so they're just fighting people who are just sitting there and taking it in the ass. <coughs> and you've got people who are just getting ragged on. You've got two people hating each other and you're just creating hate between two different players for no reason. Like PvPers want to fight PvPers, right? Bounty Hunter is a decent fix to that. I think it does a great job at that. Kemp is just a briefing. Oh, I don't think Kemp did anything wrong there. He basically just reported it. He didn't really give his own... I guess he, he was saying cheating, but outside of that, he wasn't really saying who's right and who's wrong, I don't think. I watched it on stream, uh, but didn't put it on screen. Okay, so I heard it harder to clip things from VODs from Kick. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to discredit that then, because if I don't see a clip of Skillspec saying that, then I'm not going to um take it as, a, as like evidence or anything. You're going to boost LMS because I suck at PvP and want my room power? Do it. Everyone does. Everyone does that. Integrity of the game isn't great. Uh, how many bots, real traders, and boosting is out there in RuneScape? I have this, this video here, okay? It's not out yet. But it is coming out, um, I think, in about 12 hours' time. Maybe a bit later. This one here, about the bots in Old School RuneScape. Keep an eye out for it. You're going to want to watch it. It's got some fucking, some spicy takes in there. Okay. That's what you're going to want to see. That'll help clear up some of the botting uh, questions. As for this drama with skill specs and Oda block, final verdict. I don't think skill specs is wrong to have a problem with boosting. I don't think Oda block is wrong to be paying people that don't want to fight him to die. Okay. Um, I don't think, <laughs> like at the end of the day, what are you going to do? How, how are you going to stop the boosting service? It is Jagex's fault and Jagex's responsibility to sort out this boosting stuff. Odeblock's doing it in the name of content, and I don't think you can blame him at all. I don't think it is any different to other boosting services that don't involve someone logging into your account to get you an Inferno cape or to, do, to actually do the content for you. If you are paying to be carried or paying to have people go with you to get Grandmaster times, what's the difference? If you're paying for your fighter torso, what's the difference? If you're paying to learn a raid, you're a dickhead, but what's the difference? There is no difference. I think Odeblock is doing nothing wrong there. You can worry about the integrity of the game and the health of it all you want, but I don't think he's making it any better or any worse. He's just doing his thing, making content, and he's capitalizing on it. What's this? Look. Wait, does you got five hours ago, 39k views. Another one, 111k views. Abyssal Dagger, 129k views. Two days ago, Crab Gauntlet, not saying that one. Uh, four days, 151k views. VLS, 120k views. Five days ago, this man is uploading daily bounty hunter content for the last week. Okay, he's collectively generated. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. After this one, seven. He's got over a million views here. Just in Bounty Hunter views. Who else has done it? No one no one's trying to hold on to the integrity of it. He's killing it. You reckon there is a difference? Boosting your torso doesn't impact other people. Boosters in PvP minigame makes it hell for everyone else when they refuse to fight until they're paid off. You can just end you can just get a new target. They've changed it, right? So you don't have penalty to there's no penalty to um, changing your target if they're not scaled. Right? Am I correct? Not yet. Can you not just attack them and have them leave and then they get punished for it? Three hours and eight minutes until 98 strength. GZ. But at the same time, Born, if they're going to make that change, then then there is no problem. You check the arm, you pinned me the clip. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, sorry, guys. Let's have a look. Propaganda. Here we go. Open. This morning, Ian, bro. Okay. Hey, 
But when I, when I when I was making that tweet this morning, Ian, bro, just know I, I knew exactly the type of backlash it would have, bro. You know what I mean? And then and then unfortunately, bro, uh, Mr. Odoblock reacted exactly how I would have predicted to this exact situation. And hey, man, I'm just smiling and waving, bro. And that being said, I'm gonna get myself a Red Bull. I'll be back in one second. I hope you guys have enjoyed tonight's stream. Uh, when was this clipped live? No, this is five hours ago. This was clipped. But what vid was that from? That's referring to. The, that's referring to the original tweet. Let me try to find it again. Here. This one here, right? This is what he's referring to. Let me listen to it again. Hey, but when I, when I, when I was making that tweet this morning, Ian, bro, just know I, I knew exactly the type of backlash it would have, bro. You know what I mean? And then, and then unfortunately, bro... Uh, Mr. Odoblock reacted exactly how I would have predicted to this exact situation, and hey man, I'm just smiling and waving, bro. And that being said, I'm gonna get myself a Red Bull. I'll be back in one second. I hope you guys have enjoyed tonight's stream. Uh... Alright, fair enough. A little bit of a backpedal there if he's saying it wasn't about him, but it is. Um, but... <laughs> well, we got the drama he wanted. Skillspec's just mad because he's trash. I don't think being trash is really something he cares about. He still makes great content. Smiling and waving, crying about integrity. A little bit of both. I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, it, might, it might sound like a little bit of cope, but at the end of the day, um, I guess the tweet really is directed towards Odoblock and other boosters. There you go. That's the evidence there. Odoblock is right in his return in his response. I don't think Skillspex is uh, still... I, I think he's still right to be um, disappointed in people who are boosting. It would have been funny if he did tag Odeblock in the tweet. I, I would have found that a lot funnier. But, you know, it is what it is. What's the drama in a sentence, mate? Uh, the drama is, watch the VOD when I re-upload it. Ad revenue, you know, boosting. You can't look at one clip and say that. I watched the whole stream and he said it was not a, to Odeblock. Well, that might be the case. If he wants to defend that, then he's more than happy to come out and say it. But just according to this clip that I see, it sounds like that that is what he's saying, right? Odeblock only boosted roughly 5% of his kills anyway. It's not really about the numbers. It's about the fact that I don't think the boosting is really a problem. Basically saying he tweeted something and the shoe fits. So Oda replied because he thought it was about him. Yep. But now he's saying that this... In this clip, it sounds like he's saying that... Hey, he knew when I, when I, when I was, was making that tweet this morning, Ian, bro, just know I, I knew exactly the type of backlash it would have, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, and then unfortunately, bro, uh, Mr. Odeblock reacted exactly how I would have predicted to this exact situation. And... Hey, man. To be honest... Nah, look, to be... Look, he's saying the back... Like, yes, he's going to get backlash from boosters. And Odoblock reacted how he predicted. Yeah, was he reacting... Predicting Odoblock to react like that? Or just how a booster would react? I don't know, but... It depends. I don't know. You probably want a bit more context to it. If, I, if, if Skillspace comes out and says this, that, and the other, then that's it. You know? But I, I, I think regardless of this context or this clip, the point is more about the boosting itself, right? Point in saying, I know how Odoblock would act is, one, Oda's going to think um, the tweet is about him, and two, send his army to be insecure about it. So if he knew Odoblock was going to think it's about him, yeah, I, I, I can see that. that I, can, I can absolutely see that for sure. Yeah, no, for sure, I agree. He admitted to targeting everyone boosting, which is why what the tweet said. Yeah, okay. Go watch the full VOD and look at his chat. I'm not watching the full fucking VOD, dude. It's like a four-hour stream. Full minute of the, the chat leading up to that comment gives context, but big copium leading up to that comment. You reckon? Oh, look, at the end of the day, regardless of whether the tweet was directed at Odoblock or not, I don't think Odoblock's doing anything wrong by killing people that don't want to fight him. That's... <laughs> The numbers speak for themselves. You know my stance on boosting. That's where it sits, and that's where I'm going to leave it. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn! Fuck me. Look at that boy. It's huge. You got a big boy.